A lot of the work is quite repetitive. The pleats took about two months to do. Probably did those eyes 10 times. Even the texture of the skin, their graceful dancing, which I wanted to portray. That's the whole goal is to make them feel like they're gonna swim away. I'm Steven Kessler, also known as Tusk. I'm a large-scale wildlife sculptor. I found sculpture a little later in life, in my late 30s. Moving from one career to the other, especially into the art world, that's totally scary and foolish thing to do. I don't think I had an option after I started sculpting. I think my life was going to be it no matter what I did. Sculpture as a whole has inspired me. I mean, it's a 24 hour thing for me. Sleep just gets in the way, almost. When I'm out doing day-to-day -day things, not being here, it's always running through my head. I don't know if I'd personally call myself a daydreamer, but I could probably be labeled one. There is definitely a calming with clay. I usually work 12 hours for three days straight. Being able to realize what I want in it quickly, it just seems like it works together with how I process. I've been involved with making three life-size giraffes, 40-foot whale shark, four manta rays, and we're working on this 30-foot iguana behind me. The humpback whales took roughly nine months. The inspiration to do these pieces for the aquarium was because Utah is a landlocked state. There's a limited number of people that you see these in real life anyways. To be able to be in the same room, feel the size of it, hopefully there's an energy to it and hopefully inspire conservation acts because of it. If someone says, oh, I can't sculpt this, it'd be tried, buy it. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. Open the box of clay, see what's in it. You know, there might be a humpback whale in the future.